hello friends welcome back to online math shop so we're gonna be solving this uh, question right here so what we have is x plus y equal to 9 and then x multiplied by y is equal to 20 so what are the values of x and y that is actually gonna satisfy this okay so we want to find out what is gonna be the value of x and of course what will be the value of y okay so moving on what i'm just gonna do if i name this equation one and then name this equation two what i'm gonna do is just to make x the subject in equation one so if i do that i'm gonna be having that x will be equal to so i'll just uh, push y to the right hand side so this will be nine minus y okay and then i'm going to use this x here to substitute in equation two so that is wherever i see x i'm actually going to replace it with nine minus y so i can even decide to call this equation three for easy referencing okay so substituting what i'm going to be having is that this now changes to okay so let me write y into 9 minus y okay is equal to 20. now i can go ahead to open this bracket 9 times y is equal to 9y and then y times y will be equal to minus y squared and is equal to 20. okay so i'll bring 20 to the left hand side so kind of subtracting 20 from both sides so that will be 9y minus y squared minus 20 is equal to 20 minus 20 will be 0. Okay, so I'm going to find a way to make the coefficient of uh, y squared to be equal to 1 and not minus 1. So I'm just going to multiply it through by minus. So if I do that, uh, this is actually going to change to positive y squared. And then this one will change to negative y, 9y. And then this one will change to positive 20 okay it's equal to zero so you can see that i've got uh, some quadratic equation so i'm just going to be using the formula method to solve so y will be equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 ac all divided by 2 times a okay and of course in this case a is the coefficient of y squared which is equal to 1 and then b is the coefficient of y which is equal to 9 okay and then c is this constant which is equal to 20 so what i'm going to do next is just to go ahead to replace all of these values in this formula okay so if you watch very well b which is the coefficient of y is minus 9 here so this is minus 9 okay so if i now replace the values of a b c you can see a b here is minus 9 and then of course it is still the same here minus 9 and then a here is uh, 1 and c is equal to 20 so these are the values i've replaced in that formula and then it's actually going to be divided by 2 times a which is just 2 times 1 okay so i'm just going to go ahead to evaluate okay and of course this one is actually going to change to nine minus times minus is plus so this will be, one will be equal to nine and then this minus nine squared will be equal to 81 okay and then of course four times one times 20 will be equal to 18 okay so i'm just going to go ahead and of course this one will be equal to two so simplifying it from here y will be equal to 9 plus or minus the square root of 81 okay minus 18 divided by 2 so moving on this will be equal to 9 plus or minus the square root of 81 minus 80 is just 1 and then divided by 2 and this will be equal to 9 plus or minus the square root of 1 is just 1 okay and of course divided by 2 so when you 
evaluate this you're actually going to be having 9 plus 1 divided by 2 or 9 minus 1 divided by 2 okay so for this case you're going to be having 10 divided by 2 or uh, 8 divided by 2 okay and then of course this one is equal to 5 or 4 so eventually you see that y is equal to 5 or 4 okay so now that we've gotten our y we can go to our equation 3 which of course we got here x equal to 9 minus y so if we put it right here x equal to 9 minus y that's actually the formula we are going to be using to get the value of x so we just go ahead to replace so for uh, y equal to 5 we can go ahead to compute our x x will now be equal to 9 minus 5 which is equal to 4 okay and then for y equal to 4 right here we can have that our y or that our x will now be equal to 9 minus 4 which is equal to 5 okay so this is actually going to be the values of x and that and x and y and so if we bring uh, the solutions together so x comma y is now going to be equal to 5 comma 4 or 4 comma 5 okay and then of course you can actually go ahead to find out whether this will satisfy the problem we are solving so the problem we just solve is x plus y equal to 9 and then of course x multiplied by y equal to 20. so you can actually use any of these so if x is equal to 5 we have 5 plus y to be equal to 4 and is actually equal to 9 so when you also put it right here 5 times 4 it will still be equal to 20 and of course if you also use the second one here 4 plus 5 will still equal to 9 and then 4 times 5 is still equal to 20 so you can see that this actually satisfies the problem we are solving and basically that is how you solve this kind of problem let me know if you've understood this and then let me have a, a, a thought in the comment section subscribe to our channel for more updates like this video and share it with your friends and we'll see you guys in my next video bye